Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I have a bit of a varied mail opening video. We have some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, we have some Lego stuff, we have some wrestling action figures, which is supposed to be the main point of the channel, but is not something we've seen an awful lot of recently. I've been having a bit of trouble getting those in lately for decent prices, but we got some in today, so... So that's something we are going to be taking a look at. But first of all, we have a bundle of Yu-Gi-Oh Tazes or Tazos, whichever you prefer. And I saw these on bid, like really cheap, like 99 pence, two pound postage kind of deal. And I thought I'd just take a, a buy on that. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Oh, wow, they're actually in card sleeves, <laughs> like chain of card sleeves. Oh, well, however, that's kind of, that's kind of uh, ruined the reveal. Of uh, what we're actually going to get. The card sleeves are, are wrecked, mind you. But uh, let's see which ones we've got. So, Dark Sage. It's really cool. I had loads of these when I was a kid. I actually have Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon blue tacked to my wall. I think I had more. I think I had a few of them, but he's the only one that survived. Taz number seven there. Dark Sage. We've got Relinquished. Beautiful. 29 nice green is this another one it is so i'm going to make a separate pile and these are the ones we're going to sell and i thought these would just be a, a, oh wait are these all relinquished oh no tune summon skull yeah i definitely had him when i was a kid so i know he can go in the cell pile parrot dragon i definitely don't think i had him as a kid wow i thought these would make a cool video and i thought you know they could be useful as counters or something number 32 manga Ran. Don't remember having this one either. Beautiful. 31 and another parrot dragon. Inside the destroyed sleeve. Another dark sage. And red eyes black dragon. Regular red eyes, not the not the black metal version. Taz number 12 there. We are out of a sleeve. Oh, look at that. Black luster soldier. Nice. It's just... These things are already destroyed, so let's just destroy it more and get into there. Black Luster Soldier. Look at that holographic action. And here's number two. Summon Skull. Look at that. Why is he so pink? You know, on the on the distant view, he looks so bloody pink. That is absurd. And that is Taz number five. We've got Magician of Black Chaos. Wow, that's kind of frightening the way he comes in there. He's like... Rawr, gotcha. Always love Magician of Black Chaos. That's Taz number four. And we got Celtic Guardian. That looks really good. Now, I actually found one of these. Very weird story. Out the back of my old girlfriend's house a few years ago. Like, I don't know. I was out there probably trying to, like, catch their stupid cat or something that had escaped again. And uh, just found this on the floor. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take that with me. Here it is, mate. It's been in my back for at least three years at this point. Maybe not to the day, but, you know. It's definitely 2021, and it's just been in there ever since. And we got at least three copies of Pegasus here, and we got the Flame Swordsman. Definitely had this one when I was a kid as well. That's nice, bit scratched up there, Flame Swordsman, you're not looking too good. So we got a fair few here we can just chuck to sell. We got Pegasus there, really nice lime green. Hooray! It's the time, wizard! Yeah, I don't remember having that one. And I do remember having got a Pegasus like a second ago. And and, and there's another Pegasus for another bundle. And we got Garuzis. Nice. So that is everything for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Taz bundle. So that was what, three quid? And we got like what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 of them things for three pounds. And I thought that would just be a fun little, you know, little nostalgia piece. I did one a few years ago, probably on another channel, on a lot of Pokemon WAPs. That was quite fun as well. Of course, WAP has a very different name nowadays. And we're going to just keep going with uh, the, the chronological order of when these things came. So this is the bundle of wrestling figures. I say bundle, it's two figures, but it's two very good figures. 
and there's one figure to sell. I do already have a copy of it, and I'm pretty sure there's good value in it, but I still haven't quite found that value. And the other is something to potentially keep or potentially sell. So we are going with a Classic Superstars. I think this is Series 15, I want to say. 15 and 9 are the numbers that are popping up in my head. We've got the uh, the fingers there. They haven't even been separated yet. That's how crispy, fresh this this guy is. Doesn't come with the title belt. I'm expecting to still get like maybe 12 or 13 for this. As I say, I currently have one listed. That's kind of failing to sell. I listed that for 20. It's down to like 17. It's got a whole heap of crap on the hair. It's pretty gross. I'm going to stop touching that. I, you know, uh, this is a good figure. We're just waiting to find the right price for it to the right buyer. Again, we should be able to get rid of this quite easily. And this confirms that the other one definitely is ripped because there is a, a slight uh, like cut kind of thing in there. And I couldn't really work out if it was designed that way or whether it was cut. But yep, it's definitely cut. Definitely slightly ripped. So who knows? Maybe we put the title belt on this one and uh, try and get that one as the complete one. And the other one as something else. But the other figure in this bundle, very rogue, is a single individual elite animal. No hawk here, but I thought it was worth picking up, partly because the other figure was good, and partly because, you know, the Legion of Doom are good on their own. You know, if this has to be the way that I get Legion of Doom, that I have to pick them up, like, individually, and, you know, maybe look at the accessories separately, then that is the way we have to go. However, I am not in, as initially overjoyed with these joints. You know, they're a little bit spongy. They're a little bit squishy. Look at that. That's, that's kind of terrible. I guess it does stand up it's not i mean you know it could be worse a bit of a cleanup needed on this as well i think it could be worse we've got a bit of uh, paint wear to the head as well the face paints come off quite a bit and the hair definitely very much so too yeah i think this is going to be a resell job i don't think this is good enough condition for my standards we're a bit scuffed up on the bum there as well but I'm pretty confident we can make profit just on this guy on his own loose. Because we've got none of the accessories. I do have basic Legion of Doom, so it's not the biggest uh, the biggest issue. Like I say, if this was how we got the Legion of Doom in, that would be fine. I don't think that is going to be the case. I think I think this guy is just a little bit too wrecked. The, the torso joint and waist joint are pretty good, though. Got a little bit of paint wear there on the waist. But like I say, I'm really struggling to get figures in to sell recently. And I'm, the only thing I'm struggling more with is actually getting them to sell. And if you're looking for loose, in particular, wrestling action figures, check out my Shopify link in the description below for good prices. If they don't sell, then I'm going to have to just give up on the whole thing because it's getting really difficult to source the used action figures. And it's definitely getting difficult to make money on eBay selling them with the amount of fees and how little you can actually charge for them. You know, when you get figures like this, it's a little bit more worthwhile. But these are the kind of figures that I'm really struggling to get rid of lately. That's the wrestling figure portion of this mail opening. So now we just have to get into the Lego. This is a couple of birthday presents for my girlfriend. So first of all, if you're watching, look away now and you've picked a great time to suddenly show an interest in the channel i joke she supports me in everything i do so we've got a couple of lego pieces here and basically we've just ordered them from the lego shop i paid shipping rather than trying to get it over the free delivery threshold which i'd normally do because then i'd just be buying lego i don't need with money i don't have but even paying the shipping it was cheaper to get it this way than ordering it elsewhere oh this is a really nice box i'd rather not destroy it i could really do with sending out like a yoda's hut pop figure in there ah oh, great whatever it'll be fine yeah it was still cheaper to pay the shipping than to order it anywhere else and then ironically we were away just now yeah while we were away we were in the lego shop and i could have just bought it all and also my mum then took an interest in getting us something and could have just thrown that in this order as well and again we could have got free shipping but hers was actually a fine price on amazon mine was not uh, so first of all the stitch brick heads set it's really, really cute. I really wanted to get a Jar Jar Binks, but that still doesn't seem to be out in the UK, not on his own anywhere. We've got that lovely picture of Stitch on the side there. This was £17 on Amazon, whereas on the Lego store, it was £10 as it should be, plus shipping. So yeah, a lot cheaper that way. And the other thing we got her to go with her Harry Potter Lego, we got her the Flying Ford Anglia set. 
I really didn't know which of the Harry Potter sets she was uh, really interested in from the 2024 pieces. But, you know, this was on her list, so I just went with this. She does like these little scenes, etc. You know, the kind of things that would look fine just sitting on a shelf on their own. Love, love the size of scabbers in the back there. <laughs> so, that is everything for this mail opening video. But if you enjoyed it, the mail opening playlist will be in the end screen. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the video. And if you'd like to support my store, Disaster Figs, for action figures and other geeky collectibles, then the link to the store will be in the description below. And the link to the Facebook page, where you can also support me, will also be there. I really appreciate you guys joining me. So, thank you all for watching and goodbye.